you do? What up with you? <laughs> what up with you dudes? What's up with you? Yo. So Steph Curry coming back, right? Alright, so with Steph coming back. Everybody's like, yo, it's over. For everybody, if Steph come back. That could be true. Let's not be let's not be ignorant, all you guys who want Cleveland to win. Steph comes back, he's supposed to come back in game two against the Pelicans. Look, they don't need Steph to come back. He's just cleared to play. They don't need him to play. I mean, it's obvious. You know, they, they already beat him in game one. They'll kick, wait a minute. Oh, oh, ooh, oh, oh, oh. okay. They're, they're going to keep beating him. And uh, they're going to keep beating him because they're just better than they are. And somebody corrected me on this. Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis. Not Anthony Davis. Thank you for correcting me. But nonetheless, it doesn't matter how good he is. You know, I'm just saying. Uh, now, it may mess up the narrative a little bit. You know how we all into the narrative. You know what I'm saying? We was fine with Steph on the sidelines. We was like, yeah, Brown Brown got a chance. But with Steph not sitting on that sideline and actually, you know, coming into the game, look, Cleveland don't stand a chance. I mean, it's bad enough they got to face the Raptors, but we already know the deal with the Raptors. The Raptors are not going to beat Cleveland. The Celtics are going to beat the 76ers, but, you know, Cleveland will beat the six, uh, uh, Celtics. It just says what it is. Game seven all day. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Golden State is the reign, are the reigning champions for a reason. They got, you know, two MVPs. They got a great bench. They're like the freaking Bulls back in the 90s. I mean, they, they're the best there is in the business right now. Now, here, now here's where some here's where here's where the sixth and seventh man called the refs. <laughs> they're gonna come into play, and listen, y'all gonna start seeing this in the uh, championship games, which is uh, when you see uh, in a Western championship games or championship conference, you're gonna see. Uh, Golden State, you're going to see Steph Curry get fouled out. You're going to see it. You saw it before. You saw it before. And you saw the reaction. Steph Curry's going to get fouled out. Listen, they're not going to hurt him again. They might. They might give him a Steph Curry knee again. Just an arbitrary knee that just comes out of nowhere. But I don't think that's what's going to happen. They're like, nah, we already, we already used that card. We played that already. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to foul you out. They're going to slow them down, foul them out. Then they're going to foul out Kevin Durant. One of those games, we've seen this before. They're going to use the same tricks. And then Houston is going to beat Golden State. I'm just telling you, when you see it, don't go screaming. You know, don't get upset for you who you know love Golden State. I'm sorry. It's just, that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen to your squad. For you people out there in Golden State, listen, you guys are, you guys got the best team. There's no doubt about that. But Steph Curry is going to get – he's not going to get hurt, I don't think. He's going to get fouled out. He's going to get into foul trouble quick. And James Harden and them boys are start going to run up the scoreboard. Then they're going to make it real close. They're going to go all the way to game seven. And then next thing you know, James Harden's going to hit a LeBron James buzzer beater and whack and it's going to be all the fanfare and all the hoo hobbing and whatever. And it's just, what it really is, is, I'm sorry, you guys, it just, it's not your year. You're not chosen to win. You guys have been chosen to win, you know, a few years, you know. You guys have been here, you know, in the championship games. You guys have no complaint. There's nothing going on uh, that you guys don't already know about, Steph. We've been through this before, so just go through the motions, and Steph is going to concur because he's making, you know, $34 million a year. And his new contract, he went from, you know, $100 million contract to a $201 million contract. It's like $34 million a year. That's on the court. That's not including what's going on off the court. He's making a lot more off the court, you know, in perpetuity. Simply because of his name, not because of his corny shoes. So it is what it is. 
You know, they needed to face the NBA to come back, so the ratings are going to go up, which they will automatically. I don't even watch the games, but now I'm just like, ooh, that's interesting. But I already know what's going to happen. It's going to be the same narrative. I don't. I still say that Golden State is not going to go to the championship games. If they go to the championship games, Golden State will win. And that's going to suck. That's all I'm saying. So, you know, you guys let me know what you think about that. But uh, I think it's Houston's turn to go go to the championship games. Um, and I think uh, it would be good for the city of Houston. Or the, uh, yeah, uh, the city of Houston. Uh, the state of Texas. I just think it would be good for them. You know, even though they want to pen it, like I said before. But it would still be good morale for them to at least go. But I think Cleveland... Is gonna win. That's just what I think. But uh, it's your boy Tone Two Two, man. God loves you. I'm out.